Welcome back to the 2021 school year. I am Dr. Bryson, the principal at Hester Elementary School. As we journey through the beginning of this school year in distance learning, this slide presentation will introduce key district and site staff members and provide you with important information that you will need to know. Our superintendent of Farmersville Unified School District is Dr. Saviano. Our school board members are President John Vasquez, John Alvarez, Board Trustee, George Vasquez, Trustee, Alice Lopez, Clerk, and Lupe Fernandez, Trustee. A special thanks to our board members for all that they do to support us in our journey through learning and teaching. Next is a photo of our amazing Hester staff. The administrative and support staff, Dr. Danette Bryson, Principal, Ms. Jennifer Garcia, Academic Coach, Mrs. Laura Ochoa, who is our school counselor, and Ms. Connie Tejada, who is our community liaison. Our office staff and support staff include Mrs. Rachel Espinoza, our school secretary, Mrs. Veronica Fernandez, our attendant secretary, Mrs. Kathy Bluster, our health aide, and Mrs. Maria Avila, our library aide. New to Hester this year is Mr. Peter Gasca, PE teacher, he will be teaching PE grades TK through third grade, and we will be sharing him every other week with Snowden. Mrs. Amy Coop, our special education teacher, will be in room 10. She teaches preschool through first grade. Our TK teaching staff include Mrs. Rhonda Thatcher. She is in room 18, and Mrs. Suzanne Simon is in room 19. Our kindergarten teaching staff include Mrs. Sylvia Alvarez, room 12, Mrs. Brandy Finch, room five, Miss Heidi Jaramillo, room three, Mrs. Michelle Plantenberg, room 11, Mrs. Miss Michaela Richardson, room four, and Miss Andrea Wendell, room 20. Our dual language immersion kindergarten teaching staff are Mrs. Maria Valdez in room two, Miss Myra Magianas in room eight. Our first grade teaching staff will be Mrs. Sarah Corona, room 25, Mr. Anthony Lopez, room seven, Mrs. Lori Luna, room nine, Miss Courtney Redfern, room 27, Miss Christy Setzer, room 13, and Mrs. Beatrice Tripp in room 23. Our dual language immersion first grade teaching staff include Mrs. Sylvia Ramos in room 24 and Miss Veronica Saldivar in room 26. Our distance learning program will include students learning from home five days a week from an assigned Farmersville Unified teacher. Distance learning will include daily interactive lessons via Google Classroom or Zoom when learning from home. In our case at Hester this year, our new digital platform is called Seesaw. Uh, no longer will we be using Class Dojo and parents and students will be provided with instructions as to how to log on and access Seesaw. Also required instructional minutes, live interaction with the teacher and peers, rigorous standards-based teaching and learning, students will be provided with a touchscreen Chromebook device to participate, and attendance and grading will be taken daily. Some important dates to remember will be August 5th, teachers will contact parents and students to introduce themselves and send you a link to invite you to Class Dojo. August 6th, student technology orientation. All students will be expected to participate in a required technology orientation. The purpose of the technology orientation is to familiarize students with technology and distance learning expectations for the school year. Additional technology orientation information will soon follow. August 7th, ELA and math assessment. All students will participate in online assessments in English language arts and math. The purpose of the online assessments is to assess student learning needs for the 2020-2021 school year. Also on August 7th, teachers will post a link to their back to school slide presentation on Class Dojo digital platform. You will receive an invite to access the Class Dojo link. On August 10th, is the first day of online classroom instruction with the teacher. Our 2020-21 assessment dates are the following. Interim comprehensive assessments, August 7th. 
Interim assessment number one, September 21st through the 25th. Interim assessment number two, November 9th through the 13th. Interim assessment number three, January 25th through the 29th. Interim assessment number four, March 15th through the 19th. Our STAR assessments will be August 17th through the 21st, October 19th through the 23rd, January 25th through the 29th, and May 17th through the 21st. Again, we highly encourage students to access their Seesaw digital platform and interact and participate with their teachers in live instruction so that they can gain the knowledge and the skills in reading, math, and all content areas to be able to learn everything that they need to know in this year's grade level. Important rules for students to know regarding Zoom meetings. Be on time, be prepared, an adult needs to be present, meet from the kitchen or the living room, turn on the video, mute yourself until it is your turn to talk, raise your hand if you wanna talk, no chatting while a teacher is talking and be respectful. Hester's 2020-21 Bell Distance Learning Schedule will include the following. Mondays will be our late start days. Students will be able to um, log on at nine o'clock. So from nine o'clock to 10 o'clock, for an example, group one will be with the teacher in small groups and group two will be participating in self-guided work. From 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock, it'll flip-flop, whereas small groups number two with the teacher and group number one will be um, completing guided work. From 11 o'clock to 12 o'clock is lunch. From 12 o'clock to one o'clock is whole class instruction. And this again is late start Mondays with um, TK through first grade and our dual language immersion classes. One o'clock to 1.30 will be our office hours, intervention, enrichment pullout. And from 1.30 to three o'clock will be teacher prep planning and site planning. So basically on late start Mondays, school will start for students online at nine o'clock and will be ending at about 1.30. Um, also for TK through first grade, Tuesdays through Fridays will be our regular instruction school starting at uh, basically 8.30. 8.30 will include whole class instruction, 8.30 to 9.15. 9.15 to 10 o'clock will include small group um, with the first group with the teacher and the small group number two with self-guided work. Break will be from uh, 10 o'clock to 10.15. 10.15 to 11 o'clock will be small group number two with the teacher and uh, group number one will be self-guided work. Lunch is from 11 to 12 o'clock. And then from uh, 12 o'clock to 12.45, we have intervention, enrichment, and then pullout. So with uh, TK um, dual language kindergarten, we basically have Tuesday through Friday, school starting at 8.30 and ending at 12.45. With first grade, it's a little bit longer it's um, starting at 8.30 to 8.45, whole class instruction. Then we have 8.45 to 9.45 is small group number one with a teacher and small group number two with self-guided work. 9.45 to 10 is break. 10 to 11 is a small group number two with a teacher and small group number one with guided work. 11 to 12 is lunch. 12 to one is whole class. And from 1 to 1.30 is intervention, enrichment, and pullout. And school for first grade from Tuesday through Friday will end at 1.35. Teacher's office hours are from 1.35 to 3 o'clock. Our dual language kindergarten regular schedule um, will pretty much mimic the same as the kindergarten schedule above. Um, you have school starting at 8.30 to 9.15 is whole class instruction. 9.15 to 10 o'clock is small groups, number one with teacher, 
and small group number two with self-guided work. 10 to 10.15 is break. 10.15 to 11 is small group number two with teacher. And uh, small group number one with self-guided work. Lunch is from 11 to 12. 12 to 12.30 is ELD and ELA. And 12.30 to 12.45 is intervention, enrichment, and pullout. School for kindergarten in dual language immersion as well as in kindergarten and TK will end at 1245 Tuesday through Friday. First grade, you have 830 to 845 is whole class instruction for dual language immersion, that is, and also for first grade regular. 845 to 945 is small group number one with teacher and small group number two with self-guided work. 945 to 10 is break. 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock is small Group number two with teacher and small group number one, self-guided work. 11 to 12 is lunch. 12 to 1 is whole class. 1 to 120 is ELD and ELA. 120 to 135 is intervention, enrichment, and pullout. And school will be dismissed for dual language first grade at 135. The same as with first grade Tuesday through Friday. 135 to 3 o'clock are office hours, teacher prep, planning, and site planning. Students at Hester will be able to participate in the expanded learning program formerly known as our after school program. Online registration will be open on August 3rd at 12 p.m. and the link is as follows on the slide. The first day of virtual learning will be August 10th, 2020. An example of the Hester schedule will be Monday through Friday from 3 o'clock to 5.30 p.m. Five staff members will be available to assist students with academic and homework. Um, an example would be kinder and first grade, three o'clock to 3.45. Dual language uh, kinder will be four to 4.30. Dual language first grade from 4.30 to 5.05. Enrichment would include um, four o'clock to 4.45 and physical fitness from five o'clock to 5.30 p.m. Starting August 6th, the district will continue to provide student meals, breakfast and lunch, Monday through Friday from 11 a.m. to 12 o'clock noon at every school. A parent may drive up to any school to pick up student meals. Our student interventions will include our TI, our response to intervention, and also our expanded learning program, our after school program. Our distance learning links include Google Classroom will be the platform that students will be learning from and teachers will be teaching, and also the submission of any assignments. Our Google Meets will be our virtual platform for conferencing with students and parents, and we will continue to use our class Dojo for parent communication. We encourage parents to get involved in parent organizations and programs such as DLAC, which is the District English Language Advisory Committee, the ELAC, the English Language Advisory Committee, the SSC, the School Site Council, and the PK, which is the Parent Institute of Quality Education. On behalf of Hester Elementary School, I'd like to thank you for joining us tonight.